What is good everybody? It's that one camera guy. I'm gonna be shooting a little bit today with the Sony A7 Mark III. Uh, we got some baseball, so I'll be shooting with the 100 to 400. We're gonna take a look at how well it performs. I will try to do some comparisons to the A7 A9 in terms of autofocus speed and performance. So we'll definitely take a look at that today. I, I would still predict that the autofocus is really detrimental in terms of low light. The A9 will still have the advantage over the A7 III. That's just my gut feeling, um, but who knows? But we're gonna go and take a look at that today. shot uh, for like one inning right now with the A7 Mark III with the Sony 100-400. It's working pretty good. I'm using autofocus uh, lockdown AF. Uh, everything's working smoothly shots wise. Uh, hit rate seems pretty good. It seems to be kind of off a little bit but it's still doing a really good job with, um, with focusing and keeping track of the subjects. Very responsive still. Uh, nothing unusual. So we'll check it out. I'm going to switch over to the A9 right now uh, while I'm at it and see how that goes. I just shot that inning using the Sony A9 and the 100-400. Um, it, it's working exactly as you would expect. The A9 is specifically designed for sports. Um, the 20 frames per second is nailing the shots just over and over and over. And you can practically pick whatever frame that you want from any of those images. So you're, you're going to see some of the run-throughs that I got from those shots. And it just did a really excellent job there. So I'm going to jump back to the A7 Mark III, try to get some... Um, footage of the autofocusing system next using my Tomos recorder. So we're gonna take a look at that next. So I just finished shooting baseball games, almost over, there's about another inning left. Uh, as far as just initial thoughts, it's just thoughts that are coming from my mind right now so I can put them on camera. A7 III did a really great job, especially paired with the 100-400 to G Master. I, I, I would just, I've said this before on our live shows that I do, that I would be very happy if I had the A7 III um, over the A9. I wouldn't find that I was unable to get the photos that I wanted to if I had the A9. And over the A7 III, but here's the catch. Uh, you know, if you are, and this is pretty obvious, if you are paid what you're doing and uh, what you do matters if you need that exact moment, that exact shot, then the A9 is going to be every single time the choice you're going to go with. That's the way I would look at it because yes, it shoots 20 frames per second, but it's the, it's the burst and the responsiveness of those 20 frames that gets you that quick burst in that high peak moment. When you're shooting with the A7 III, you can still get those really great frames and time them, but you have a, there's a fractional chance or there's a chance that you're less likely to get it uh, on the first try. With the A9, you're gonna get it almost every single time. Granted, you still need to understand the game and be used to maybe the players that are playing, but the A9 makes it so much easier 
and uh, definitely catching the shots that you want. I left my heart in California. I let it go deep into the blue. I could be happy in California. I would be fine with just me and you. Ooh, now don't go changing.